the fourth quarter of last year will be remembered by a fierce battle between two rivals for the title of the best Full HD mainstream gaming graphics card. While this slower mid-range segment has 4GB versions of Radeon RX 5500 XT and GeForce GTX 1650 Super trading punches, the upper mid-range was practically dominated by Nvidia GTX 1660 Super, which was the unrivaled choice for Full HD gaming at ultra graphics settings. At the start of 2020, AMD decided to fight back on this front by introducing the RX 5600 XT with 6GB of RAM. At ultra setting in 1920x1080 resolution, textures can take up to more than 4GB of memory, so this category of gaming cards is recognizable by the amount of memory that can accommodate larger textures. According to the popular gaming services like Steam, Full HD is still the most commonly used resolution for gaming. The 6GB AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT fits right between the 8GB RX 5500 XT and RX 5700 models. In fact, RX 5600 XT is based on the similar GPU to the one that runs on RX 5700. It is the RDNA Navi 10, specifically Navi 10 XLE, with 2304 Steam processor, 144 texture units, and 64 raster operation pipelines, or ROPs. The main difference between RX 5600 XT and RX 5700 is the way the memory is configured. 5600 XT has 6 instead of 8 GB, which due to memory controller architecture also means that the bus between the memory and GPU is 192 instead of 256 bits wide. Also, GDDR6 frequency is lower compared to the RX 5700 from 1750 to 1500 MHz, effectively 12 GHz. Since Navi 10 is complex GPU with large number of execution units, overall performance is certainly dependent on memory size and speed. As for GPU frequencies, they are also a bit lower and start at 1375 MHz on a 5600 XT in gaming mode, with a boost up to 1560 MHz. Keep in mind that this varies between manufacturers and specific models and that some of them go significantly over AMD's rated frequencies. A new BIOS even allowed 5600 XT to reach up to 1750 MHz. Chip is obviously capable of it, but AMD didn't really want to step into the RX 5700 territory. Such as it is, the Radon RX 5600 XT is direct competitor to GeForce GTX 1660 Super and TI models. We know that this AMD chip can do, but let's see how 6GB of RAM, narrow bus and lower clock speeds have affected the performance. Recently, Gigabyte was always the quickest one to supply us with the newest gaming graphics card model. And so was this time. The first Radon RX 5600 XT we got to test was Gigabyte RX 5600 XT Gaming OC 6GB model. At first glance, it's clear that this is a serious graphic card as it comes with a large cooling solution similar to the one on the Radon RX 5700 model. Big 3-piece aluminum heatsink is connected to a 4 large diameter heat pipes for efficient heat transfer. Heat dispersion is accelerated by 3 wind force fans controlled by a dedicated microprocessor and sensors that are spread across most important points on a PCB. Radon RX 5600 XT, like all of the other Navy 10 based cards, uses all the advantages of the PCIe 4.0 bus. This Gigabyte model has 1560 MHz clock speed during gaming with 1620 MHz boost frequency. A glowing RGB Fusion 2 logo on the heatsink covers its recognizable detail. This card is 28 cm long, almost 11.5 cm tall and 5 cm thick. Output is provided by three DisplayPort 1.4 and one HDMI 2.0 connectors and you can also connect up to four monitors simultaneously. As for the power supply, it's only required one 8-pin connector. We put the AMD Radon RX 5600 XT head-to-head -head against the GTX 1660 Super and it came out on top, with the advantages of almost 30% over its competitor in Battlefield 5. It is also 11% faster in Shadow of the Tomb Raider and 25% faster in Division 2, 22% in Far Cry 5 and Borderlands 3, and 20% faster in Red Dead Redemption 2. The advantage was least pronounced in Battle Royale games like Apex Legends and Fortnite with 9 to 12.5%. 
All this was achieved at quite conservative operating frequencies, with GPU running in 1550 to 1605 MHz range and memory at effective 12 GHz. In this mode, the card consumes about 160 watts of power with the operating temperature of 65 degrees Celsius thanks to the VinForce 3 cooling, which is an unusually low value for AMD graphics cards. Thanks to this Gigabyte RX 5600 XT Gaming OC 6 Gigabyte has a great overclocking potential and a hefty power reserve. A frequency slider is maxed out at 1820 MHz, which due to dynamic frequency adjustments made by the GPU results in a realistic gaming frequencies of about 750 MHz. We were also able to get the memory running at 1700 MHz, which would have been effective 13.6 GHz GDDR6 frequency. Those settings are close to those on RX 5700 and boost performance by an additional 10%. Interestingly, the power consumption goes up only slightly to 170 watts, with the temperature not going over 70 degrees Celsius. Therefore, Radon RX 5600 XT pretty much stomps the GTX 1660 Super, not leaving any doubt as for which card is the king of the upper mainstream gaming class. AMD has filled its portfolio with a whole range of Navi-based GPUs with a clearly defined roles. Radon RX 5500 series got the more affordable part of the 1080p gaming, battling the GeForce GTX 1650 Super, while Radon RX 5600 XT took over the segment we could call the ultimate 1080p gaming, and at this point in time, it's undoubtedly better option than the rivaling GTX 1660 Super, so much so that the Nvidia was forced to reduce their prices and announced that RTX 2060 would go down to 300 euros which is the current price of 6GB Radeon RX 5600 XT. We should mention that there is also a Radeon RX 5600 without the XT suffix, which has fewer stream processors, 2048 to be exact, but those cards, just like the Radeon RX 5500 for instance, are sold only to OEMs and system integrators. AMD intended Radon RX 5700 and XT models for 1440p gaming, but we also say that RX 5600 XT also does well in 1440p in games that do not consume too much video memory, achieving very similar frame rates. Games that use big textures and complex models and require a lot of video RAM can be challenging in this resolution. With Radon RX 5600 XT, AMD has definitely raised the stakes in 1080p Ultra Gaming class and has established a new reference for all Full HD monitor owners. You were watching Bench House, please stay tuned for more upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel and in the meantime feel free to drop a like and share your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Marco and I will see you next time.